Larry. How are you? Shy. Hello, Judith. Hello, son. Larry, I want to thank you for coming. It's so important we'll be able to discuss these things. I'm happy to come to Emberside, but I'm thinking, really, maybe it's best to leave these discussions to the lawyers. Of course. Legal matters, you let the lawyers discuss. You don't mix apples and oranges. I have begged you to see the lawyer. I told you I'm going Monday. Monday is timely. This is not... <laughs> Please, Embers is not the forum for legalities. You're so right. Mm. No, Judith and I wanted merely to discuss... Uh, Practicalities, living arrangements. After all, this is an issue where no one is at odds. Living arrangements? I think we all agree that uh, the children not being contaminated with the tension, most important. We shouldn't put the kids in the middle of this, Larry. The kids aren't. I'm saying any... we. I'm not pointing fingers. No one is playing the blame game, Larry. I didn't say anyone was. Well, let's not play he said, she said either. I, I wasn't. I... All right, look, look, look. Let's just take a step back and, and we can diffuse the situation. You know, Larry, um, sometimes I find that if I count to ten, one, Two, three, four, or silently. Really, to keep things on an even keel, leading up to Danny's bar mitzvah. Child's bar mitzvah. Larry. Cy and I think it's best if you move out of the house. Move out? Well, it makes eminent sense. Things can't continue as Move they... out? Where would I go? Well, for instance, the Jolly Roger is quite livable. It's not expensive. The rooms are eminently habitable. This would allow you to visit the kids. There's convenience in its favor. They've got a pool. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to move in with Cy? Larry. Larry, you, you are jesting. I think, really, the Jolly Roger is the appropriate course of action.